Good morning, Keller Williams agents. I just wanted to give you this quick little tip. We've talked about it in meetings. Um, it's one of those things I think people sometimes they forget that we have all these really cool tools um, with your MLS subscriptions with HAR. And this one is a really good one. I mentioned this to some people in the office a while back and um, either they had forgotten it, they didn't hear it or wasn't explained to them really well. So um, you always want to be the professional in the business. I know you're having lots of conversations with um, clients, uh, people you just meet, friends, family about what's going on with the market, what's going on in the market. Well, it's not about what you hear in the news. It's about what's actually happening. And I think that this is a really cool report that is easy to find. You all have access to it. Um, it's easy to present. It's easy to understand. So take a look at this report. Let me show you real quick where it's at. And then you can look at basically compare week over week from last year. And what I do is you just log into your MLS. Before you go into the matrix, you're going to go over here on go into MLS, statistics and reports, market stats. And then these are also good. You can look at all these. That gets more in depth and they're a little bit more difficult to read, but it gives you some really good indications kind of monthly. The weekly is a really good report. You can see what's happening right here on a weekly basis. So you compare in this week, if you look right here from 7-19-2022 compared to a year ago for the same week, you can come down and you can look. So at new listings, New listings week over week from 21 compared to 22 are down seven and a half percent. And um, that's new listings hitting the market. Pending listings. So we have 30, they're negative 34.2 percent. This is compared this same time versus last year, same week. Off market listings. This is interesting. Uh, to almost 20 percent, 19.3 percent. This is sellers withdrew more property listings from the MLS during this week versus the same time last year. So that's one of those things that can be debatable. And, uh, you know, it's it's there's a lot of reasons but that's a pretty big number. If you see that 20 percent increase in off market listings, people terminating, people withdrawing, you know, is that possibly they're not getting the multiple offers and they thought they were going to get. So they terminate their listing when they within two or three weeks after not uh, getting what they were wanting to get for the property. I don't know. It's something that we can debate on that. Um, you go down to weekly activity snapshot on closings. All right, here's a big one. Closings are down 17.6% this week versus the same week last year. So what does that tell you? You need to be knowledgeable about what's happening. So basically our markets are down from last year. I take this as 17.6%, at least for that week. That's not for the whole year, you know, but it should correlate um, pretty close. So if you look, pull back and you pull the monthly, you go back and you pull the yearly, I bet you it's going to be somewhere close into there. Showings, people are losing interest. They're down 11.1%. So, and if you look at listing views, 25.4%. So the turbulence in the market, they're going up, 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 up. Um, if you notice that every single one of these is down and it's not down just 1%. These are big numbers, but I think this is a really good report for you to be able to understand yourself. And then you want to be the most knowledgeable in the business because you are the professional in the business when you're having these conversations, when you're meeting with sellers and they're still wanting to go for that beat the neighbor neighborhood price point. Um, it might not be the market for that. It could be in certain pockets. In a, but you have to go with the numbers. You want to stay ahead of the game and you'll know your numbers. If you read these reports, look at it every Monday and look what happened. Look at the differences. Take advantage of all the tools and the information that you have in front of you. I guarantee you 98% of agents don't know that this even exists. This will give you an advantage above, above other agents when you're meeting with these potential clients. You know, that's just a little tip. I just wanted to share with everybody. Thank you.